there and welcome to my third update of my aquaponics experiment. I'm going to do this update in a couple of segments over a few weeks so we can actually watch the progress of these plants as they grow. So the first thing you'll notice is they've grown a lot since my last video. Last video they were little sprouts and now we have a lot of pak choy seedlings. Um, they're actually onto their secondary leaves now. They've gone through their primary stage. What I need to do now with this is actually take a lot of these out and I feel bad for doing it but I have to because otherwise they're going to start competing with each other. Interestingly enough you'll see the angle of the pak choy is slightly towards the window. Um, that's because they're obviously getting a lot of nice light through the window, they're getting sunlight which is what they want. But it's not too bad, they're, they're sort of at a vague angle but they're still getting the light from this tri-spec light so it's kind of balancing them out slightly so they don't get too leggy towards the window but we'll see how that progresses. In the future I might just rely on either the window or I might actually black the window out and just rely on the light above it. We'll see how it goes, this is an experiment. So also you will see that I have added some goldfish to this tank below. They're really nice, um, we've got three ranchus. Um, I really like the colours of them, I, I picked them specifically because I like the colours of them. Um, they're kind of calicos but uh, that one's not quite a calico, it'll be interesting to see what he develops into. And then we've got this nice Ryukin here, I really like the shape of this Ryukin and the colour of him, uh, he's just really interesting. So I, I really enjoy these goldfish actually, um, although they are just there to eat and poo, I thought it'd be nice to actually get something that I enjoy the look of and these fish are ticking those boxes. Okay, so a couple of days have gone by since the last bit of this video. Um, I have taken out some of the plants, I did that actually today, I was a bit lazy last time. Um, I've taken out a lot, that is what I have removed. That is a lot of germination. Now, if I was a smart man, I would have had maybe some pots or some secondary containers to actually grow these on, but I don't, so this is waste at the moment, but next time I'll probably think about it. Another thing I'll probably do is actually uh, put less seeds in here because the germination rate of the seeds has been incredible. Now, the seeds that I'm using are actually slightly out of date, Pak Choi that I opened last year, um, but yet they have still germinated hugely. Now, there is still quite a large density of plantlets here. If you think about a Pak Choi, it's quite a large uh, lettuce, but it's quite straight, so they're still going to be growing on top of each other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them grow on a little bit more, and then once they've grown on a little bit more, I'll, I'll you know, take some more out and probably only end up with maybe 10 plants in total. But, so far the germination rate of this system is insane. Now, the next challenge really is actually nutrient load because if you look at the leaves of these um, secondary leaves, they're coming in slightly yellow with greening veins and that suggests iron deficiency. So I've dosed some iron in here and hopefully that will make its way up to the plant and um, this iron deficiency colour will go away and these secondary leaves will go nice and green. So here we are a week after I filmed the last part of this video and lots of growth has happened. These things are growing really quickly under these conditions. Um, you can see now we're onto tertiary leaves rather than just the primary and secondary. So it's not going to be long before these start looking a little bit more like pak choy lettuce. You can see I'm getting a little bit of the mineral build up on top of these clay balls that I was talking about. That is what it looks like when it starts to form. Um, so I need to try and mitigate that by stirring them around a little bit. So overall, at the minute, this system seems to be working really well. I'm not doing anything fancy like the ebb and flow systems. I haven't got anything cool like a bell siphon on the end. It's simply water in one end and water out the other end. And so far, so good. The next part of this video will probably be when these plants have grown to maturity or almost maturity. And we'll have a look at harvesting them, um, seeing the condition of the clay balls and how this system has performed. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks once again for watching and happy fish keeping!